Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush, and today we are going to be doing an epic cards only challenge deck here. So we have cards such as the Storm Elemental, Boneyard Spectre, Skull King, lots of great stuff in here. Although I will say I've had challenges with this before, I think the best strategy maybe is just to do a uh, Spectre strategy, since there are a lot of skeletons that you can use with double Boneyard or double Skull King if I wanted to. Metamorph isn't very viable though. Metamorph is a really fun card and it is an epic card, but the reality is it doesn't work in a deck where you're playing skeletons because you'll just end up metamorphing the skeletons and that doesn't really work. Um, unfortunately here in this match, uh, just kind of not really entirely sure what I wanted to do if I was trying to uh, I was trying to counter what they were playing or and once they got the dragon out there I was just in trouble because the high end of this deck isn't super crazy strong so I was kind of uh and then you know again I started going for their castle wasn't super sure because if I'd gone for their castle earlier I might have gotten a lot closer so I think I just wasn't really sure what I wanted to do in that match still kind of getting warmed up with this deck so here's the the situation um, and then we got a few things to open here. Real Whoa, what is that? What did I just open out of a gold chest? I just opened an Archer Queen? I should have paused there. I wasn't even expecting it. I just thought three cards, probably, uh, common, epic, and, uh, rare. I can't believe I just opened an Archer Queen from a gold chest, guys. That might be the first one I've opened from a gold chest. Uh, I think I've covered most of the chests now. I think I've done free chest i've done gotten an ep a legendary from a free chest a victory chest gold magic legendary chest obviously mythical um i don't know if i've done silver yet but i've gotten an, an legendary from almost every single type of chest you can get one from which is all of them i think except for like the epic chest which only gives epics i think but other than that, I mean, you can get, there is proof there, you can get a legendary card from basically almost any type of chest. You just have to get extremely lucky. That was pretty wild. Like, super wild. I was not expecting to get a legendary card there. I'll probably title the video something like that because, uh... I'd gotten one from, I think it was a victory chest like a year ago, and that video did pretty well. So, yeah, I'll probably title it, title it something like uh, Legendary Card from Gold Chest. So I picked up a win there with the deck. Kind of getting a little more used to how I'm using these cards. What I made a swap with was I put in the Reaper but to be used more defensively than anything, but I could still use it offensively um, as long as it can get... as long as I can play it from, like, the halfway point on the map at least. It still could be an offensive threat. But it also works pretty well defensively as well. And you can place it behind a tankier card and then just uh, sort of slice through it. So, this person trying to rush me with kind of a weird setup there with like a mage and an angel with a rushing deck. And, uh, yeah, that just wasn't... I had too much for those people. Uh, so, lots of lower level players still. I don't know why I keep getting these. I think I need to get my trophies up. Hi. I'd been pushing and then they did the season reset, so I was like back down in trophies again. I'm going to catch this Shaman with the Reaper, yes. So, uh, Fan Dancer set up. We're going to try and eliminate that Fan Dancer. And then uh, Boneyard. I'm really trying to be more patient with Boneyard because the thing is, if I play my cards too fast, I end up in a bad spot with Boneyard because you really have to have like a fairly full hand to make use of that card properly. Uh, this is looking pretty good. You can see here I was tempted to use the Reaper 
on offense, but I think we've got a good strat. Big castle health advantage. Got rid of the Valk. We do still need some more damage on their castle, though. This could turn around if I'm not careful, but luckily they're only really focusing down one lane, and I have a lot of good uh, sort of defensive cards for that. And I can block them with uh, Boneyard, too. Oh, no, the dragon. This is bad. What do I do? I'm like, do I confront the dragon? Do I go around it? I decide to go around it with that specter, hoping I can get another fire elemental as well to put pressure on. Because their health is low, so I'm like, if I can just get some real heat on their castle. Hmm. Either Boneyard or Fire Elemental could still help me here. There's the Fire Elemental. I'm going straight for the castle, but this is still pretty far out from winning. They're probably going to block me, and this isn't looking so good. Oh, no. I may have misplayed this. Yeah, I misplayed it. You can see maybe I should have tried to counter, but... The problem is I don't think I could have countered a double dragon there unless I'd really played the Spectre more into the lane with the dragon. Then maybe I could have done it with Spectre, Double Demon, and uh, Black Knight. Maybe I should have tried that. Die. Going all in with the one Fire Elemental from like whatever they were at, like 3,000 health. Probably a little too risky. It's always so tempting with the Fire Elemental to just jump over the top of them, but you really have to be close to winning to, you know, make that pay off. Otherwise, there's better uses of the Fire Elemental, mostly. Like right here, I should play Fire Elemental on middle lane, but actually Reaper could work too. But I didn't see it, and I just went straight for their castle. So, that's what we're going to do. Total offense. And in this case, we had the upper hand with the double fire elemental and then triple fire elemental. That time it worked out, but that was pretty risky and I really could have gone and eliminated that Phoenix Angel stack. Here, using the Reaper offensively again. Just dropping it at midfield there. Even without uh, standard bear. It didn't get to the castle, but it put pressure on them. Forced them to do something. Giant Ape Pirate Man. Such an annoying card. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I'm still being really aggressive with my playing here. And Boneyard into probably Spectre. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nice little gust of wind move by them. What else do we have? That pirate is just smashing away. I'm like, I guess I'll go for the Valkyrie. But again, a little bit of indecisiveness. I could have gone over the top of them. I'm like, I guess we're going to go for the counters here. Yeah, at this point, I decide I'm going to try and counter. But they go for the giant dragon, and then I realize I have to go all in because... Honestly, I can't contend with that. But then... I'm like, well, maybe... I'm still just not sure, you know what I mean? I'm being too indecisive considering I don't even have a gust of wind to work with. At this point, I'm like, I have to go for the castle. Going for that last fire elemental... We're going to drop that thing in. Oof. And then I just kind of misplayed that bad timing, whatever it was. And um, that uh, pretty much seals it right there. One last shot with the uh, Boneyard. But even that didn't work. They, like, metamorphed something else. So, good game. 
I may have made a few uh, missteps there. I still really love using Boneyard as like my opening card, but the problem is like at six mana, it's just so much less viable than it was at four mana. Like, especially for rushing. Luckily, this isn't really a rushing deck and it has some synergy with uh, Skull, not Skull King, but uh, with Spectre. So from that perspective, it works. Ooh, take out that Catapult. There's the defensive Reaper in action. Alright, what do we gotta do? I'm just going straight for their castle. I don't know why I'm ignoring that middle lane, because what's there is fairly weak, but I guess that's what I'm thinking. Oh no, they had to do that. Man, see, I don't know. I guess that just... Let's try and take it out. This is gonna be really close. Oh! Just barely got them. Okay, rushing stack. What are we gonna do? They already have a really good rushing stack. I can block them with the Boneyard, but I don't have it yet. And they're a little too close to block with. Yeah, I got one skeleton in there. Sometimes you can get a bunch in and really bottle up their, their rush. Dude, I don't know if I can do anything here. We're gonna block... Oh man, this is really... I don't think... Well, it's getting closer. No, I think we're gonna lose. We lost this. Dang. Rushing decks are tough sometimes. You can play your cards as best you can, but... Sometimes rushing decks will just get you. There's no way around it, and that's why they're so popular. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this Epic Cards Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content I should create. And I will see you guys in the next video.